And welcome back to Outlook Video. Roberta Gonzalez Gregg is back in San Jose holding down the fort while I'm here in the Castro where festivities for the first RV Milk Day are taking place. One of the commemorations is the dedication of the new sidewalk plaque in front of Harvey Milk's camera store and campaign headquarters. Our sneak preview at the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival is coming up. But first, Jeff Cotter from the Rainbow World Fund talks to Jay about the organization's mission to promote LGBT philanthropy in the area of world humanitarian relief. The Rainbow World Fund is unique among the LGBT organizations that Outlook Video interviews. Usually we cover gay groups helping gay folks, and there are the occasional straight groups like PFLAG that perform outreach around predominantly gay issues. But the Rainbow World Fund, started by Jeff Cotter, is an international gay group that helps people all around the globe without concern for their sexual orientation. From floods to earthquakes, their humanitarian effort is heartfelt and creates a lasting impression of goodwill towards our community. Tonight we welcome back Jeff Cotter, founder of the Rainbow World Fund, and Vice President Karen Kai. Welcome Karen, Jeff. Thanks, Thank Jane. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So from the last time that we interviewed you, what's, what's been happening? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, working within the LGBT community, educating people about issues of world need, humanitarian aid, and of course raising our community's consciousness. Uh, and through that we've been raising funds and supporting a whole variety of projects all around the world. Uh, orphanages, schools, clinics, um, uh, a Mayan history project, um, just a whole real diversity of projects. Because uh, of course, as you know, Rainbow World Fund's all about the LGBT and friends community serving the rest of the world, so we've been busy. And Karen, you, you joined the uh, Rainbow World Fund um, when? About four years ago when we started the Tree of Hope project, which through which we put up a big holiday tree in City Hall that's decorated with thousands of origami ornaments in the shape of cranes to express wishes of hope that are actually sent in by people from all over the world. We've had some fairly famous people send things in, a fellow named Barack Obama mm, okay. and uh, Hillary Clinton. Wow. Uh, Courtney Cox Arquette cool. sent a uh, wish in to us last year. And Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall, yeah. Francis Moore LaPay. Nice. A lot of people with a lot of different interests, but all having wishes and hopes for the world to become a better place where people really do uh, follow the hopes that we have at Rainbow World Fund to be one human family that really works to support one another. I was very impressed by the fact that you know it is a unique group in that um, you know you do outreach to everybody mm -hmm. and, and, and then that comes back to our community is like hey these gay folks are helping us right. and uh, was that your intention when you, when you started it? It was. My first thought when I came up with the idea about um, Rainbow World Fund and starting this international aid agency um, was I, r I realized that our community um, has grown so much you know, over the years and we've got a lot to offer the world uh, that this is great, we can do it. And then the second thought was, my gosh, this can really change the way that the world sees us because it puts, uh, just adds one more face of who we are and what we're really about as uh, LGBT people. And um, so it does, it does help sort of change the consciousness and a lot of the misperceptions about who we are. It's the number one reason why um, people like gay people or not is just having known a person. Right. How many, um, how do you decide what, um, what uh, agencies or what, who to help? There's so much need out there. Sure. How do you, how do you decide that? We do uh, a lot of research on the organizations that we partner with uh, to provide aid around the world. And we have um, five key areas that we focus on. We focus on landmine eradication, hunger, safe drinking water access, global HIV, and disaster relief. So we always have, usually, al almost all the time, we always have projects going on in those areas. And then uh, over the course of our work, we've um, also um, gotten involved in uh, just helping specific orphanages and schools and clinics and things like that. Uh, tell us about some upcoming events soon. Now, this is going to be a May May broadcast or a June broadcast. So, June broadcast. Yeah. Okay. So, tell us what's uh, what people can get involved in. What um, get? Well, we have a trip uh, to Guatemala. We do it every July, and it, this will be our seventh year. It's a humanitarian aid tour of Guatemala, and basically, it's a crash course in the history, the spot, the politics, and the spirituality of the country. 
and we usually bring down about uh, 15 people and uh, along with uh, ourselves going down there we bring down about 2,000 pounds of medicine, school supplies, medical equipment and then uh, financial grants that we distribute as we travel around the country to a whole variety of aid projects. If people are interested in Rainbow World Fund, please come and visit our website, which is rainbowfund.org. And we're a 100% volunteer organization, so if you're interested in helping out, please uh, give us a call. Okay, great. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks. Thank you.